Quick you guys got another video on how to fix the Windows 10 start menu search is not working issue in Windows 10 so if you come down to the search box here and type in uh, whatever it is you're searching for on your computer you don't get any sort of results and you just get a white box showing up in the uh, upper part of the search box there so I'll do this a couple of times just to show you here um, I'm going to put a Cronus here I've got a Cronus true image on the system and you can see when I put in uh, a Cronus I just get a white box there's nothing getting detected uh, in my search so I'll just give you one more example here on restore and you can see no search results come up for system restore or restore or anything like that on my search box so let's go ahead and take a look at some of the steps we can take to try to fix and um, resolve uh, this problem in Windows 10 so what we're going to do here is start off with a bunch of um, things that you can run to try and fix this problem okay so let's go ahead and go to the taskbar first and open up task manager we want to look for Cortana here and what we're going to do is just quickly right click and uh, end task on Cortana here you should see a bunch of them here so just right click on this and end task this will close down and restart Cortana restart your computer and see if that fixes your issue if it doesn't then just continue with the video go to the start button here right click on this and open up the PowerShell with admin click yes to the user account control and this will open up uh, the PowerShell box inside here you want to paste in this uh, code here I'll leave it in the video description for you and what this is going to do is uh, reset all the apps here so I'm just going to quickly go ahead and do this and it will take a bit of time so be patient okay but I'll leave this code so you can um, uh, just paste it straight into and re-register all the apps on uh, Windows 10 here so what I'll do next is show you the next uh, fix if this doesn't resolve your issue you need to continue with the video but if it does fix your problem then congratulations you should have your search back up and running you may want to restart your system at that stage so if you're still having issues continue and right click on the taskbar and hit task manager come down to where it says Windows Explorer and what we're going to do is come down until we see the Windows Explorer process here there we go and on the right hand side you should see restart just restart the Windows Explorer process to see whether that resolves your issue if it doesn't and you're still having issues then you need to continue with the video to try and resolve your problem so let's move on to the next step to resolve this issue the next step is come down to the search box here and type services if you can't get to services this way then you can go into control panel and get services up and running from there or you can get it from task manager and get services up there so inside here what you're looking for is Windows search so it will be down near the bottom here and you should see Windows search here you want to right click on this and restart that service hopefully this will resolve your issue once you've done that you can double click on here just make sure it's on automatic delayed start or automatic either one of these two should be okay and then you can apply an okay and restart your computer and hopefully that resolves your issue if it doesn't then we can move on to some other fixes that you can try to resolve this issue next up we're going to go down to the search box again and type control panel and inside the control panel once we've got this open we're going to go up to the top right hand side here where it says search control panel and just put the letter T inside here that's for troubleshoot and you can see here troubleshooting you can either click on it here or find it in the list below but if you click on it here you'll see a bunch of stuff you can actually uh, do some troubleshooting on or you can search through here to find the one that you want so let me just show you the one we're going to be troubleshooting here to try and fix and resolve our issue so go to troubleshooting and go down to system and security click on that one there and now we can see we have search and indexing you want to click on the search and indexing you can right click on this one here and run this as administrator it's important that you do that because obviously you're going to need rights to fix any issues now from here you can see we've got a box popping up here and you can see we've got advanced and we've also got the next button so just click on the advanced here I just want to check make sure apply 
repairs automatically is OK and click next. The troubleshoot will try to detect any problems with your system. Now it gives you some selections here. Files don't appear in the search results. That is the one we are going to go for here because that's exactly what is happening to our computer. So I'm going to put the tick in that box there. But if you've got other issues, you may want to tick those. But that is the one I'm going to go for. And let's go next and let that try to detect and fix the problem. Hopefully with a reboot that will resolve your problem. If it doesn't, then you can continue to watch the video for some more uh, helpful tips to fix and resolve this issue. Okay, let's move on to some more fixes here and see whether we can fix and resolve this issue. So come down to the uh, start button, right click and go run. And inside here, we need to type in uh, this little command here. So we want to go sys, so S Y S and then DM and then dot CPL and then click OK. And this will open up this box here. You can navigate to it if you wish. Uh, but if you get used to using those shortcut keys, they're very quick uh, to get to these locations. So here we want to go to the advanced tab here and under the performance, we want to go to the settings tab. So click on there. And now we need to go to the advanced tab again. And what we're doing here is just to check to make sure we've got the page file big enough here. And you can see Windows is going to be controlling that. So under virtual memory, click change and automatically manage paging file size for all drives. Make sure that is ticked. Windows will take care of that for you. If that is not ticked and you've got a custom setup, you may need to change those settings there. So moving on to the next fix, we're going to go back down to the search box here and we're going to type in here control panel so type control panel here now if you're not seeing any of this search results coming up you can get to control panel in other ways but basically we're going to go here and uh, what we're going to do is go into the category tab here and make that small icons there we go and inside here what we're looking for is indexing options and this is going to be for our searching. So we'll click on indexing options and this will open up another box here. Now we can go to where it says advanced, click on advanced and you should see here troubleshooting delete and rebuild index. So that's what we're going to do is rebuild the index for uh, this particular computer and hopefully that will resolve our issue. So I'm going to say yes here to let that go and click OK. And it will take a bit of time to index the computer. Be patient. If, you, if you've got a large uh, drive with loads of stuff on it, it will take a bit of time. So be patient, OK? There's a couple of more things that we can try here. If you're still having issues, then you're starting to get into uh, a more troubled uh, issue. And uh, what we're going to do is try some other things here. So we've done all those uh, other fixes. So let's close this off. This has been completed now. And uh, this is on a virtual machine, but if yours was on a main machine, it would take a bit more time uh, to do that. So it's completed, as you can see, and uh, click close. You may want to reboot your computer and test to see if it's working now. Uh, but if it's not, then you can try uh, another thing here. So what we're going to do is go back down to control panel here. So I'm going to go down to the search box and type control panel. Now you can go into the settings pane here and accounts if you want to, uh, user accounts. And what you want to do is set up a, another user account for this machine. Now sometimes setting up a new user account can resolve a lot of problems, especially with corrupt user profiles or uh, computers. So this can uh, resolve a lot of these issues. Now click uh, add another user and it will take you from here. So what you need to do here now is click click on the other people and then go ahead and add someone else uh, to this PC. And that's all you need to do really. So just add someone else uh, to this PC by hitting the plus button and this will open up and it don't have to be a Microsoft uh, account. You can have an offline account if you want to. I'll show you how to do the offline account here. So what you want to do is so I don't have the details and add a user without a Microsoft account. There we go. And then click on there and then just give me a username and a password and uh, log into that account and it will rebuild 
uh, the user profile build up a new profile for that computer and for that person and hopefully that has resolved your issues if it has then you can copy all your stuff across and remove the other uh, user profile another thing you can do is go into command prompt and run this as administrator go into the command prompt box here and these are the last two commands I'm going to show you here because obviously you should have uh, fixed this by now but sfc space forward slash scan now run this in case there's any sort of corruption on uh, windows files and uh, let that run it will take a bit of time and then what you can do is run this one dism uh, space forward slash online space forward slash clean dash image space forward slash res, uh, restore health let that run and then run sfc scan now again after that reboot your computer and hopefully your problem will be resolved Anyway, that's about it for this video. Uh, my name is Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Hope this one helps you out, guys. Uh, my voice is getting a little bit better now. Not so bad. Still a bit croaky and a bit coffee. But hopefully I'll be back on the mend within the next few days or so. Anyway, have a great day, and I shall see you again for another video real soon. Bye for now. Now, if you haven't subscribed yet, hit the big red subscribe button on my YouTube channel and hit the bell notification button next to that to be notified when we upload new videos.